Today I'm going to demonstrate how to um, draw a horizontal or vertical line uh, using a TI-84 graphing calculator and actually um, doing this by using the draw feature that is found on the calculator. Um, this makes for a really nice demonstration if you're going to try to demonstrate the vertical line test. You can also um, use this for demonstrating the horizontal line test as well. All right, and um, as you recall, in like a pre-calc class, that's going to uh, determine the existence of whether or not um, you have an inverse function. All right, so um, first off, you are going to need to put your function in that you want to graph. So we'll go in here and we'll hit y equals. All right, let's just work with a basic parabola here, kind of a wide parabola. So let's make it a 0.25. Um, parentheses maybe x minus 2 quantity squared and then let's say minus 5. I'll put a nice little place in our window here. Um, I'm going to zoom standard when I go to the graph just so that it kind of puts it nicely in the center of the screen. Alright so there's my parabola. Alright first let's do the uh, vertical line test. Alright so I'm going to hit second and then draw all right, and from this list, then I'm going to do the vertical line test, so I'm going to select a 4, so I'm going to press 4. All right, now what this does is I can arrow up or down, okay, or in um, this case, sorry, I'm going to be arrowing left to right because I'm doing vertical line test, and you can see that it's moving, okay. Now, right here on style pops up, I can hit graph, and um, I think I'm going to go ahead and change this to a blue line just so it stands out a little bit, so I'm going to arrow to the right, change that to a red line and then come down and hit OK. Alright, so if I was going to demonstrate vertical line test here, I might come all the way over the far left hand side. Okay, show the students that vertical line only crosses the graph at one spot. If I want to leave that line there, I can hit enter. Alright, and then I can arrow over a little bit to the right. Okay, put another one in and you can go all the way around the curve. Every time if I hit enter, then that's going to leave the line where it's at. All right, showing the students that no matter where I draw my vertical line across around the curve, then I am only crossing the curve in one spot. Okay. All right. Now, let's say um, I wanted to erase those vertical lines because I was done. All right. I can go back in. I can go second, draw. All right. My first one right there, clear draw, is going to clear my graph. Okay, puts my, leaves my parabola, redraws the parabola, leaves it there, but then just clears all of those vertical lines that I was doing. All right, now if you similarly, if you wanted to do a horizontal line test, I could go second and draw. All right, three, selecting three would give you the horizontal line. All right, and again, here, this one I'm moving up and down. It's going to, there, you're going to see that horizontal line. Okay, and if you need, would like to uh, make the style a little bit different there, you can hit graph and it will let you go in and change it to any color you would want. Go on down, change it to red there. All right, and again, I can move that line anywhere I want. All right, hit enter, it will leave that line. Okay, and for horizontal line test, if you recall, if um, it crosses in more than one spot, okay, it fails the horizontal line test. This one does. All right, so this parabola right here does not have an inverse function. It has an inverse, but it does not have an inverse that is a function. So it fails the horizontal, horizontal line test. All right, um, so that pretty much is how you use the draw feature, all right, particularly with the horizontal and vertical lines on your graphing calculator. Um, thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends.